G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today's episode of the fish feature is on one of the coolest canines that we sell at Gallery Aquatica, the dog face puffer. We particularly wanted to do a fish feature on the dog face puffer today because we are lucky enough to have this orange dog face puffer. Now they don't normally have this much orange in them. This is a particularly beautiful specimen and for that reason he's a little bit more sought after, a little bit more beautiful and I particularly like him. So we're going to talk about exactly what it takes to look after a fish like this and uh, all the aspects of care of the dog face puffer. Let's talk about the type of tank that you would normally keep the dog face puffer in. They do get quite large and they do need a fair bit of space as they grow. Now this one is only a baby, he's just a pup. And you can see they're called dog face puffers because they've got that face that really looks like a dog with a big puppy eyes. But we generally keep them in predatory type tanks. So I don't normally put them in reef tanks. Um, I don't think they're too destructive, but you'd certainly have to worry about things like shrimp and other invertebrates being picked at, and probably even some corals. You can see that they do have a, a real beak to them. They've got a, a, a really strong uh, jaw. They can crush things like uh, crabs and shrimp very, very easily. So generally we keep them with uh, non-aggressive predatory fish. Um, I would typically keep them with things like epaulette sharks, rays, um, possibly with some of the lionfish, um, and ensuring that the sizes were relatively okay. But um, one of the most important aspects of keeping the dog face puffer is the diet. So let's talk about what we feed this guy here. This guy's a fairly slow feeder. It's important that we offer foods that uh, sit around in the tank long enough that he can get a big substantial bite. And so the best thing is prawns. We uh, generally defrost them. I normally take the carapace off, um, maybe break it in half, but particularly the head of the prawn is excellent for this guy. And I throw it in there and let him just sort of take bites as he feels uh, necessary. I also like putting in shellfish, uh, pippies, uh, mussels, things like that. You generally want to crack them open, chuck them in, and that way he can pick at the, uh, the flesh from out of the shell. Now there is one important aspect when it comes to keeping a uh, dog face puffer, and that's disease. Dog face puffer are particularly susceptible to white spot and other protozoan diseases. So it's important that you're very careful with your quarantine. Um, you really wanna make sure that you don't expose this guy to uh, white spot in particular. Um, we operate very strong UV sterilization, which typically keeps it under control here. But um, white spot is probably the number one risk to the dog face puffer. So definitely be really careful with your quarantine. So this brings us to our difficulty rating of the dog face puffer. Now one, in our rating, one is the easiest and 10 is the hardest. And uh, I'm gonna say that it's a six. The dog face puffer is not a hugely easy fish to keep. Um, the main reason being is what I just mentioned about disease. They are very prone to white spot and if your quarantine isn't up to scratch, that could be a big problem. But uh, the other aspect is the feeding. You can see they're a somewhat timid fish, especially when they're new in the tank. And uh, if you don't offer the right foods, if you're not careful how you feed it into the tank, then you're gonna have the problem that the dog face puffer cowers in the corner, doesn't get much food, and his health will go downhill from there. But apart from those two things, you know, they're a relatively easy fish to keep, and uh, they do become really wonderful pets in the aquarium, and are a fish that you can hand feed and will have for many, many years. Uh, in your reef, in your aquarium. So I have to say, this guy is probably the my favorite dog face puffer that we have had through the store. Uh, not just the color, but just the personality of him. He's really becoming a bit of a pet in the store and I just love him. But that's it for today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.